And that's everything I did to get into UCLA, Berkeley, and USC after two years at my local city college. What's up guys, my name is Kausha. I'm a third year engineering student currently at UCLA. Before I got here, I spent two years at my community college and then I was able to transfer over. I know there's a lot of people that take the community college route, so I just wanted to share some things that I did during my time at City College that helped me get into all my top universities. I'm also gonna go over some general advice that I wish I had known going into community college. What are you doing now? I'm gonna... You're interrupting it. Dude, I only have two hours left. I have to go. Leaving. Leaving. Get the f out. Get out of your room. So I don't know how to look at the camera. Like, one minute. Okay, so starting off, grades are very important. I'm sure this is a really obvious thing to most people, but they especially have a heavy weight for transfer students. This is because transfer students have to go through some of the lower division college courses required by their major at their community college. So getting really low grades in them is gonna look really bad. I personally knew a lot of people in City College that didn't take it that seriously and they got low grades. Don't be one of those people. You need to understand that you can score really high in your classes you just need to study a ton. There's been so many moments in my life where I think, oh, I can't do as well as the other people in this class because I'm just not as smart as them. It's a really bad mindset, but it's easy to fall into, especially if you're surrounded by insanely smart people. You just need to dedicate an insane amount of time to studying and you're gonna be fine. If you work way harder than the smart people in your class, you're gonna do well in the class. So basically, take your classes really seriously. Your grades are gonna matter a lot. All right, the next major influence on your acceptance to the UC University is gonna be the essay questions. Each year, there are four essay questions, but for transfer students, there's a specific question that you have to answer, so that leaves you three to pick. In recent years, the UC essay prompt questions have been the same. They might be different by the time you're seeing this video, so keep that in mind. I chose to write on prompts one, three, and five, which respectively are the ones about leadership, a greatest talent or skill, and then a significant challenge that you've faced. The last prompt is the mandatory one for all transfer students, which asks how you have prepared for your intended major. Okay, so actual advice for the essay, kind of hard for me to give really specific advice for this because everyone's writing style is unique, but a general goal that you should keep in mind is that each one of your essays should basically be a story. Don't just say in the essay how hard you've worked. You need to to indirectly show that hard work through a captivating story. Think of the people that are gonna read your essay as someone who just picked up a random book at the library. Okay, so now they have this book and what are they gonna do? They're gonna read through the first couple pages and if it keeps their interest, they're gonna keep reading. Otherwise, if it doesn't hook them in right from the start, they're just gonna drop it and move on to the next book. You shouldn't ever directly state something about your merit to the reader. The reader should be able to know about that merit indirectly from the story that you tell. I kept this story goal in the back of my mind the whole time I wrote my essays and it made them so much better. The general form I followed was this. Start off with a captivating or engaging hook, then segment into a story that ties well with the given prompt, and then at the very end, tie in a bigger picture idea from the story into something about myself. The readers love to see how you have grown as a person from a story, so really make sure to emphasize that. Okay, the last major section that I think matters a decent amount on the UC application is going to be the activities section. You can list up to 20 activities in this section, and for each one, you can give a brief description about what you did. In these descriptions, I didn't just say what I did. I also mentioned what I learned from them or how I grew as a person. While I was at my community college, I joined a lot of clubs that were offered, and my friends and I even started the engineering club. All of these clubs can look really good on your transfer application because it shows that you engage with your campus and do a lot more than just your classes. Clubs can also be a lot of fun, so I definitely recommend joining them as soon as you can. And in general for the activities section, make sure you only include the ones that clearly resulted in growth or just ones that you're really passionate about. It's not good to clutter the activities section with a bunch of random things. Make sure that the activities you do put in are really strong and have good descriptions either emphasizing your passion or your growth. I also did some volunteer work during my time at City College. I volunteered at a hospital, a local thrift shop, and my friend's tennis camp. Having some volunteering definitely makes your application much stronger, so I'd recommend finding at least two places to volunteer at during your time at your community college. It's really important that whatever you end up doing, you keep doing it for at least a year because it looks much better when you've made longer commitments to a few things rather than short commitments to a bunch of random things. 
This applies to clubs as well. So basically don't wait until it's close to the application deadline to start doing all these activities. You wanna start them as soon as you begin your community college. That way you can have a couple long commitments that show your dedication to the reader. Otherwise, if you start all your activities close to the deadline, then it'll just look like you did them to look good. Okay, so those are the big three things on your app that really need to be strong. Now I'm gonna go over some useful things that I wish someone had told me when I first started City College. When I first came to City College, I was really confused about what classes I had to take in order to be eligible for a transfer. The classes vary depending on your major, so at first I just trusted my counselors completely and did all the classes that they told me to do. But then at some point, I learned about assist.org. On this site, you can put in your intended major and your current community college, and then you can input the university that you're trying to transfer to. It will show you all the classes that you need to have done from the community college, which will make you eligible for a transfer. It's also gonna show you strongly recommended classes, which you should definitely try and do. If you can learn to use and read this site, then you won't need to follow what the counselors say exactly. And you can also feel reassured that you're on the right path to transfer. Sometimes the counselors at City College can be kind of bad, so be careful about that. I ended up taking two classes for no reason because they weren't even required for my transfer, and this resulted in me wasting spots for actual classes that I could have done during that same time. I had to cram really difficult classes for my last two semesters, and those annoying semesters could have easily been avoided if I had just planned my own classes out from the start. So you should get familiar with this website as soon as you start City College. Actually, you should learn how to use this site literally before you sign up for your first classes. I'm gonna link it in the description. Okay, moving along, another thing you should make sure you do is start your apps early. If you wait until the November 30th deadline, you're gonna be really close to finals and maybe also some midterms. I had my hardest semester of City College when the apps were due, and I was so glad that I had started them much earlier during the summer. At the very least, make sure you start your essays during the summer because you want plenty of time to revise them and have other people read through them and give their input. Okay, the last thing I'll mention is summer classes. I had a lot of courses to complete if I wanted to transfer in two years and summer classes made that goal possible. I chose the more general classes that were offered during the summer like public speaking or film, for example. I definitely recommend looking into summer classes as they can save you so much time since they're usually shorter classes as well. I was always able to find summer classes that were offered completely online, so I didn't even have to go in person to them. I actually did an internship while I did two courses Courses online right before I transferred to UCLA. So don't completely knock out summer classes. I know no one wants to do class during the summer, but you may end up finding some really easy classes that save you a lot of time in the long run. Okay, hopefully this was helpful to someone. Let me know if you have any questions. Good luck transferring. Also, I'm planning on making more of these types of videos as well as vlog type videos, so maybe check them out. Thanks for watching. Sun turn black and gray. Come on, let me serenade you. Yeah, yeah, serenade you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For you, go and have your parade. For your sun turn black and gray. Come on, let me serenade you. Yeah, yeah, serenade you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For you, go and have your parade. For your sun turn black and gray. Come on, let me Sarah Nature. Are you actually a vlogger now? Yeah, that's pretty easy. Yeah.